How you doing? Oh, nice dog. Hi, how you doing? You want this place? Yeah, this is my place. Cool. <laughs> My name is Irmgard and these are my paintings and I'm the artist here at, um, abstract artist here at Whispering Willows Art Gallery and um, I have a nice show here, a variety of paintings. Uh, I hope everybody comes and enjoys it. How long have you been doing it for? Um, I've basically been an artist my whole life. Uh, I knew when I was four years old I wanted to be an artist and I wanted to be famous. So, uh, I don't know if I got that far but... Uh, <laughs> Which one of these is your favorite? What painting? Mm -hmm. Which one of these um, is your favorite? I really in love with this one. <laughs> Why? Um, I think because I love nature and it's uh, inspired by the red buds tree. Well, it's really Oklahoma. So, gotcha. Yeah. And um, this is native grass, and that's similar, you know, beautiful native grass in Oklahoma. Gotcha. Lots of inspiration here. Thank you. I was in the art uh, many years ago, and I used to paint drilling rigs. And what I did, we had a business that was uh, uh, servicing drilling rigs and so on, the safety equipment. And so I went out with my husband and uh, started doing some sketches of the drilling rigs and the tool pushers bought them. And so I went out with uh, watercolors and did some pictures of the drilling rigs and the tool pushers bought them. So I went into the corporate offices and they bought them too. So I did commission uh, drilling rigs for a lot of the corporate offices. And then they did an article about me at the Daily Oklahoma that local woman uh, strikes oil and doesn't own a well. And so then everybody started painting drilling rigs. So then I went to working on more Western paintings. And um, then I went into the ministry 16 years ago. And I retired from the ministry March 1st, went back into art. Right now I'm doing a series of water falls and I began to add some animals to the waterfalls. This is one of my latest ones here. This background is Peggy's World. It's a, I, I composed, composed three, three of the wolves mm -hmm. together and I put them in a scene that I thought they would like to be in and I call that Peggy's World because it's not a real place but it's where I thought they might like to be. And this one right here is totally Peggy's World. <laughs> There's no such place. <laughs> no such place as this one. Except right? up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's all that counts. That's all that counts. That's the, so, uh, but I like to do that. And uh, I like to uh, take the scenes and, and uh, put some place that I feel like would be a good place for that particular subject to be in. And I uh, enjoy. Thank you.
guy. <laughs> Ironically, it really it does. It's probably because you have somebody familiar as you're walking. Did you already get in here? Yes, but if you want to walk through there, I'll follow you to well, it. I come in here like every month. Oh my god. Okay, here, I'm going to take your picture. Will you guys stand right here? Like, kind of like right there. Like, and do I saw you butt shaking you. I saw you butt shaking like as soon as they dropped the beat, as soon as the beat dropped you were like in it. That's pretty much me. <laughs> Get it! Get it! <laughs> shoe do you wear? <laughs> Size tiny. <laughs> Projects, uh, especially ghost tours. I uh, got started doing ghost tours in uh, 2009 just on campus, kind of collecting a few stories here and there, and it's exploded. It turns out we have tons and tons of stories, even though the home was only about 130 years old. So I uh, got started with the campus tour, and that gave uh, birth to an entire book, Campus Ghosts, uh, which as I was doing the research, there was so much overflow uh, that I did one about campus. Uh, everything from Cleveland County's unsolved lover of those lane murders down to the monsters in Lake Thunderbird. So all uh, research stories, all interviews, all archives, everything uh, not made up. If I made them up, I was going to put a vampire in them. So that, that's how you can tell. <laughs> nice. So, but that's what I do, and it keeps me good and busy. So why, why did you start writing? What made you start writing? Uh, I wanted to write them down because they're stories that need to be told. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's it's stuff that people would experience and then maybe talk about here and there. Um, but once it's recorded, then we can get it out for everybody. Gotcha. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much. Awesome. You're very welcome. <laughs> Hey, you. Who are you? All right. My name is Hayes Dietrich. Um, I live in Denver, Colorado, and I paint large abstract oil paintings that, uh, in this show, specifically deal with landscapes and or derivatives of landscapes. And uh, um, I work in a manner that, that, that requires a lot of movement within the artist to do the work and a lot of um, layering, constant layering that's going on with 
with the work in general. So from a perspective of understanding what, what uh, how oil paint works and how the viscosity of oil paint works, there's a lot of emotion and a lot of um, uh, sanding and, and other, other techniques to get the, the desired effects. Tell me about this painting. What, would you, what were you thinking about when you did this one? So this, this painting specifically is a, uh, a, a replica of a small two foot by two foot painting um, that Nordstrom's uh, department store asked me to recreate. They wanted, a, they wanted the painting to be six feet by four feet. And they said, oh, but we want the colors to not be as yellow as they are and more orange and reds. Can you do that? And I was like, that, that, that's a pretty big ask. So I made <laughs> three paintings, six feet by four feet. Nice. And sold them two of the paintings. And this is the painting that they didn't buy, but it's gonna appear in Legends Restaurant here in Northern Oklahoma for the next few months. And, these, and most of these are your paintings right here? So my paintings are larger paintings. Smaller paintings are my wife's paintings. Gotcha. And this is Carolyn. This is my mother-in-law, who's also a Norman artist. Nice. And she she is the mother of the the, the woman who painted the smaller paintings. Nice. And so, so this is an opportunity for us to come back to come back to Oklahoma and show our work and share it with the rest of the family. How long have you guys been open? Oh, I've been doing this for like being, been here for. We this, this show opened uh, uh, February, February 3rd. Yeah, February 3rd, 2009. <laughs> She's like, you know, you don't know. <laughs> and the show's been up for the show's been up for a month. And, uh, this is the ending of the show. Tomorrow, I come back in with a U-Haul truck and ship all the work back to Colorado. Nice. Well, congrats. And then from, and then from there. Or goes to uh, Minneapolis and Boulder. Nice. Well, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite piece? Uh, so my favorite animal is actually elephants, and so I really love, really love these elephants right here. <laughs> so that elephant right there is yeah, your yeah, favorite yeah, piece, yeah. right? These, uh, these dragons are really cool too. Nice. Does he usually just play, play like that every day, or he just play, just on uh, oh, situations like this? Um, oh him? Yeah, this, this. Yeah, we just wanted some ambiance, 